Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to you on this day. Uh, as we are aware, uh, from the School of Management, Anurag University, we have been presenting a series of webinars on the uh, various opportunities and career opportunities in management fields. Uh, like last time, we have conducted on uh, career opportunities in MBA analytics, business analytics. Today, we are going to have a session on career opportunities in management with MBA. And we have with us two eminent personalities and who are highly experienced with academia and industrial experience. So we have with us, it's my uh, privilege and I'm very glad to introduce to you, uh, Sir Mahipati Srinivas Raudaru, who has done his MA English, MBA, psychology and many more and has given, uh, right, presently he is a director, directorate of admissions at University of uh, Anurag University. And also he has presented various sessions at IIM, Indoor, and Infosys, etc. on personality development, management, and many more. And we have with us a uh, guest and speaker of the day, Professor Sampath Garu, who has uh, done his uh, MSc from IIT Bombay, MTech from IISC, MBA from Usmania University, and has a very uh, experienced person as he who retired as a general manager from Bharat Dynamics Limited, and who specialized in the area of surface to air missiles, medium range to surface air missiles, interbaristic missiles, and he's a specialist and experienced in project management and product management. I think this is the one of the good combinations for us where we have an expert in academician and also uh, someone from industry and that too with the present Chandrayaan and all going, having someone with uh, uh, experience from BDL and all adds more value to us and how, and we are glad to have these professors with us today who will be speaking on careers uh, in opportunity, career opportunities with MBA. Uh, I would just like to give the flow of the webinar today. First, uh, it would be uh, Dr. Mahipati Srinivas Garu would be telling about the university and what is the process of the university. Later, I uh, would be followed by Professor Sampad Garu on the opp uh, opportunities. Before that, uh, I'll be telling about what is School of Management and uh, what are we doing at uh, School of Management. So can I request Dr. Mahipati Srinivas Rao Garu to kindly take on the session and help us know uh, get in some details about Anurag University. Thanks for joining Srinivasar. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much uh, for your uh, kind words. Uh, wonderful introduction. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, those who are uh, watching live and who, those who are uh, offline and online. Uh, welcome to Anurag University. As you know that uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the career opportunities uh, with the MBA. I know that there are n number of colleges, uh, MBA colleges are available throughout the country. Uh, generally, people ask, what is the specialty of Anurag University? Why should we go for MBA at Anurag University? Uh, so I would like to say that why Anurag University is very important uh, to pursue a career. The number one is that, as you know, that this is the first private university in Telangana state, uh, uh, which has been doing a lot many changes when it comes to the teaching and learning. And uh, especially when it comes to the uh, Anurag University, we have got different schools are there. Now, Anurag University has got different schools. Uh, as you know that we have got School of Agriculture Sciences, School of Engineering, School of Management, School of Pharmacy, School of Nursing, School of Medical Sciences. Now, we have got both UG programs are there, PG programs are there, and also research programs are there. So the, the unique nature of... Uh, School of Management uh, is that, no, it has been headed by Dr. U. Balaji, sir, who has uh, worked for a long time uh, uh, with corporates, you know, especially who has been uh, uh, played a key, a key role in uh, uh, various uh, multinational companies, uh, including we all know that today we are talking about Satya Foundation, uh, which has uh, introduced this one, 108 and 104. All this needs the man and brain behind that. And he has uh, gone to IAMs and uh, he uh, believes in uh, learning by doing. And he is a person 
who says that if you are not practicing it don't do it so it's not a theoretical uh, mba the uh, course that we have introduced at anurag university it's about uh, the course which uh, talks more about the practical nature and as you all know that the global leaders are at anurag university like balaji sir we do have our our chancellor dr ub desai sir who was the founding director of iit hyderabad who has worked uh, earlier with iit bombay where uh, our uh, uh, prasad sir also worked over there and we are also working over here and sampath sir also worked with iit bombay and both of them uh, they are, they guide the uh, institution especially when it comes to the teaching learning process what are the latest changes that are happening and uh, i'm i'm sure that no this uh, a uh, university has got many changes in teaching learning process as it has become totally autonomous uh, especially starting from teaching teaching i i am sure that uh, the, uh, balaji sir has introduced the cooperative teaching like where you have the two faculty teaching the students blend of there, there is sharing of knowledge happens uh, 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 among everyone not only the students but also with the faculty and all and they have introduced many innovative methods like case study methods they have introduced uh, uh, like participatory method they have, they have introduced the uh, uh, what do you say the project based uh, teaching and also as you know that in any course you find this mba as uh, two semesters whereas at anurag university you find mba trimesters i really appreciate uh, ub desai sir balaji sir and of course professor s ramchandram sir who is the vice chancellor of uh, anurag university has been the vice chancellor of uh, uh, usmania university which has got 135 years of uh, uh, history and all this leadership they have been uh, putting their efforts in making and uh, uh, shaping the students to be not only employable ready but also life ready they can say that they all work on uh, common principles like you know how to face the Uh, challenges how to be innovative thinkers how to make the society a better society and in overall uh, holistic development uh, happens at uh, anurag university uh, so uh, uh, awesome school has got uh, i can say that i i'm sure that uh, the more career opportunities and all will be spoken by sampath sir and also vandana ma'am who is the head of the department who has been uh, uh, dynamic in uh, bringing many companies to the uh, anurag university and who has been who has encouraged many people uh, who can who has mentored and uh, many startups uh, and they are doing a wonderful job i can say that and of course they got many many innovative uh, changes at uh, uh, school of management uh, like they do have their own uh, uh, startup called uh, no sabji you no know, where people the students learn by doing you no know, operations marketing finance management or not hr Uh, what whatever knows uh, they they try to they started their own uh, startup over here in collaboration with school of Inge, uh, agriculture sciences uh, they started making that uh, enterprise uh, and uh, apart from that anurag university the advantage of uh, being at anurag university is that lot of collaborative learning happens not only among the business school students these here students interact with the agriculture science students uh, engineering students you ask if you need any support for like technical support you know that many projects have been done on iot based and all and how we can integrate the uh, technology into uh, various projects of uh, management projects they, they have a choice over here they not only work on engineering uh, they also work pharmacy related to problems they also work related to the uh, agriculture sciences and all so the unique nature of uh, collaborative learning and co- collaborative participating makes uh, uh, mba students master of business administrative students uh, uh, the unique in uh, making their life uh, shaping their career in a better and apart from that uh, uh, i also can say that no there's a school of management have gone a uh, uh, lot of changes like uh, I, i if i'm right uh, it may be sometimes uh, i feel like we are the only university where we have 60% internal assessment and 40% uh, uh, external assessment as you know that when we were you know when we are not university when we were uh, 
CBS Sir College of Management or else, you know, when we have, uh, we had this Anurag group of institutions, we, I still remember the days where we had 75% external and 25% internal. The day-to-day -day learning process was very nice after becoming Anurag University. Now it has become 60% major assessment, major learning happens every day when they come to the university. They learn the things over here. And also they have been assessed at every class and the learning, you know, the success mantra of Anurag University MBA students is uh, they learn a lot because the faculty, the professors of practice is the new uh, thing that they brought. They, they have uh, invited uh, multinational company, higher level uh, uh, management leaders uh, to become the professor of practice at Anur Anurag University. I'm sure that uh, Vandana ma'am is going to talk more about the professors who are there and what kind of experience they come up with. You know that rightly, Sampath sir is there with us, uh, who has done his uh, I IIT uh, Bombay and IASC, uh, uh, so on. Okay, there are many professors who work and who bring a lot of experience, industrial experience uh, uh, to the uh, university and especially the MBA. You know, as you know that here, uh, placements wise they do have a separate track for their placements and they do have a lot of training programs orientation programs workshops you name it that is there at anurag university i can say that there are many clubs available at anurag university there is a program where they organize no uh, avish karan is there is a program avirbhav is there is a program like that they invite many management uh, uh, students of various uh, B schools and other schools, and they try to uh, make them to learn and compete uh, with each other and uh, become more competent in becoming their success. That's an advantage of having university. See, when they, whenever they organize this national tech fest at Anurag University, we find people uh, competing not only from the colleges, but also from various uh, universities and uh, national level institutions uh, also. We've got many professors who have done their courses at IIMs, and uh, they bring a lot of... Uh, practical experience and exposures to the uh, students and th that's how the uh, training happens over here and we do have uh, uh, many laurels to Anurag University packages and all so, and apart from that not only uh, just uh, the studies you know, we do have the uh, many clubs related to uh, cultural clubs are there like Alap music club is there uh, many students have been uh, there in Tollywood and Hollywood singers like Satyamani who was the alumni of Anurag University who was singing, who sang for the Bahubali movie. We got Sandilia piece, but Sandilia, who was the violinist, uh, and we have got Harika Narayan, you name it. You know, we have got many people who have been there in the clubs. You know, we have the Click Cadets Club with their focus on uh, photography. We have got Sports Club. You no, know, uh, I can say that you no. Know, we have the big sprawling uh, stadium, international uh, 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 standard stadium. We have got basketball, football, volleyball, all indoor, outdoor sports facilities are available for the students. I find uh, that that's an advantage of being a student. You are not only mentally fit, you are becoming physically fit and sharp and you develop your own inner personality too. If you have a blended of things, only uh, as you know that only study makes the job dull, you know? okay, you no know, play uh, and all. But Anurag University uh, gives an opportunity for everyone to work on various uh, uh, academic platforms, but also the uh, cultural and also many clubs are there. I think uh, Anurag University has got a, a membership in uh, a, a Indian Management Association and also Hyderabad Management Association. They do organize many global meets over here with the management leaders and they do learn a lot of uh, things from uh, 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 making the student to be successful. And in one word, I can say that recently they have conducted one marketing. You know, they did uh, they, they do uh, invited a uh, um, person from Bombay on they gave on uh, centenary uh, birthday of uh, Ambedkar uh, birthday. The Mandi Prasad. Mandi Prasad sir who has come over here. He trained many students. It was a practical experience. I can never forget the students, uh, the, the studious students feedback given on that day. Sir, we met, we met a uh, collector, we met RDO, we met uh, advocate, we met a uh, police constable. We sold these many number of books. Sir, we learned all theories in the classroom, but today we you taught us how experiential learning, how to take negative feedback, how to take no, and how I can convincing skill, how, to, how I can convince, and how I can negotiate. 
wonderful that was the mandi processor made the event totally i can say that they have learnt a lot so i can see in brief that the anurag university is the right place for the students if you want to become a leader that to a global leader and you can become a holistic student it's an all round development that happens at anurag university so i i with this i uh, thank uh, 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 vishnu vandra ma'am who has been always uh, leading the leaders uh, to make things happen at anurag university and she brought many innovative changes and uh, hats off to our registrar uh, uh, your balaji sir uh, uh, and also who is the dean for the school of management who is bringing many corporate connects to anurag university and making them to learn the practical things and making them to uh, not only get lot of money but also satisfaction making uh, our students a satisfied good and successful uh, students of this uh, gl global uh, society uh, with this uh, thank you vandana ma'am uh, thank you sampath sir uh, and uh, audience all of you thank you and i would also let you know that anurag university admissions can be taken in two modes one is through iset iset code is cvsr as you know that we are famous for uh, 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 cvsr engineering college where we started introducing so iset code will be cvsr you can opt cvsr and come to anurag university and take admissions and also you can uh, uh, directly come to anurag university and uh, take the admissions there will be a formal interview there is some uh, admission procedure is there through selection process uh, you can get admission at Anur anurag university in mba and i'm sure vandana uh, ma'am also will be talking about uh, bba and bba uh, retail uh, management course and also she'll be talking about business analytics which is the top most uh, demand oriented courses at uh, anurag university you should be uh, uh, you should be very competent enough to get uh, business analytics at our place because there's a lot of selection process that happens and there's a lot of demand for those people who have finished their uh, business analytics at uh, anurag university so with this uh, 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 once again i thank all the viewers wish you all the best wish you a happy learning at anurag university welcome to anurag university even if you're not taking admission at anurag university you can come and take the guidance of the professors you meet our professors and uh, get your confusions cleared thank you very much all the best thank you ma'am thanks a lot dr mahipati you have made uh, my job very easy i am str struggling to find out what is that i have, I have to talk about my school <laughs> now that you have told everything thanks a lot for your uh, detailed description sir you are on mute yeah thank you ma'am thank you thank thanks you lot, sir. Thanks. thank you sir uh, so thank you uh, i this all uh, this is about a brief of our anurag university and what we are doing at school of management now uh, to just add on to doc what dr mahipati has said uh, you may all get like why what is so special about anurag university school of management so i would just give i would like to give you a, a two minutes brief on that as uh, along with as what all dr mahipati has said just to give a brief on it Uh, we call our school as awesome, A U S O M, Anurag University School of Management, awesome, and we want to give an awesome experience to all the students and the faculty. That's the basic thing. And when we say awesome experience, we know uh, education is not only about getting a degree, but ability to learn, to uh, ability of getting learning to learn. How you would be learning. whenever even the pro, the courses may change in the future the demand for courses may change in the future but your ability to sustain and adapt in the world should be there with you forever so the awesome school has a trimester system and along with the regular uh, marketing finance hrm we also have operations management as an elective which we are offering and which is operations management is headed by none other than professor sampath garu because he is the one who is perfect in operations management and uh, we along with those uh, general subjects of management of marketing finance hr statistics etc which are compulsory for most of them we also have introduced few courses on uh, enabling the students to think and introducing them to eminent personalities of thinking critical thinking aspects like you know approaches to thinking aesthetics or design thinking so on so that they'll be able to understand how thinking influences and actually using the lsip programs large scale integrative programs where all the students 
actually participate in the process. It's our main differentiation is we practice what we teach or students practice what they learn. It's not theory, but they should be doing what they are uh, should be learning. So here uh, for that, the first one, as I said, we have launched a micro enterprise. The micro enterprise is a sub -Z in collaboration with School of Agriculture because management, anything is not independent. You have to be working in teams. So as our Dean, Dr. Utla Balaji sir says, like, you know, we don't tell you how to work in teams. We live with teams. We work in teams in reality. So in the collaboration with School of uh, uh, Agriculture, we uh, run a micro enterprise, which is run by the faculty and also by the students of the uh, school of management where they understand uh, called subsidy where they understand the supply chain uh, sell, <coughs> sales pricing demand customer uh, interactions complaints what happens when tomatoes price rise what have what to do how do we manage future demand everything they learn by running the enterprise we are also planning to launch two more enterprises in the, this upcoming year and another one is we would like to experiment and make the students come and get to know the industry while they're studying. So we have introduced, we are one of the very first schools who have uh, taken up professors of practice. So we have Professor Sampath, who is from general manager BDL. We have uh, Professor A.M. Rao Garu, who was a vice president and uh, who has done his law, vice president in SAP Ventures and in VST, uh, VST Industries and also in HR and Industrial Relations. We have uh, Professor Ashish Pathi, who is into entrepreneurship and also healthcare, CEO of healthcare in Apollo and uh, care hospitals and also in telecom from Airtel. Uh, we have Professor Venu, who, whose webinar you might have heard last time, who is from business analytics. Uh, he was done his IIT from Karakpur and uh, working from IT industry for a long time. And then we have Professor uh, a, PSS Murthy sir, who is uh, who was a former Usmania University professor in finance, then moved to Satyam and HCL and many other industries, and also a former director of ICAI. And we have we are, and we have recently our new recruits are like uh, we have a Dr. Shastri who is from who's pursued his PhD from IIM. So we are taking a quality, we would like to offer quality education to students and also with the industry experience. It's a mix of academia and industry. Under the able guidance of Dr. Rutla Balaji, sir, we are introducing multiple programs or uh, facilities where the students can learn. As, as remaining everything else is there, as uh, Dr. Mahipati has made my job easy, uh, there are multiple clubs in your final, your specializations as well as your uh, interests or hobbies, where it could be culture or sports or thinking or anything uh, you are having. And the faculties, we also conduct, we know the whole management is about being conducted to connected to industry. So we are approaching industries and conducting MDPs. Uh, we have conducted uh, MDPs uh, uh, with uh, steel firm recently and also in inviting many guests for in, uh, to attend, attend our classes. Uh, not attend our classes, to take classes for our students and help them uh, understand what happens, how this management principle is applied in their industries. And uh, so this is all what, as I said, uh, we are offering overall in this awesome school, we are offering BBA, BBA uh, in business analytics, supply chain, digital marketing and uh, supply, uh, this fintech. And BBA, recently we are introducing BBA in collaboration with Maruti Suzuki Limited, where we are uh, introducing BBA, where they'll be working industry immersive program. First year they'll be studying and second and third years they'll be working as well as studying. And MBA business analytics, it's an immersive learning, as uh, Sir said, like similar to Waterloo University, where they'll be pursuing and doing projects while they're studying right from their second term. And also MBA, MBA, which is there from the year 2006 with us. So now presently we have three sections with the 180 intake, where we have marketing, finance, HRM and operations management in a trimester system and also offers PhD. We have present at present around 25 scholars with us, where the scholars we have from including scholars are from TCS, 
and uh, other industry members also as phd scholars for us so i think that's all uh, is there at awesome right now uh, come and see the happening school of hyderabad and if you want to interact with us anytime you are always welcome to the school so uh, with this brief introduction about uh, school and all i would like to go on to the main session that is i request professor sampath who has been uh, uh, with us for the past 6 months who has done his msc from iit bombay and uh, mtech from iisc and mba from usmania university and has expertise in project management and product management and as i said already he is a he was a general manager from redial sir with all this experience uh and you are uh, being there with all over industry and uh, premium schools how do you think mba is because you have done your b b e m tech and mba and msc how do you think mba uh, is useful to the students what are the career opportunities for students uh, thank you madam vandana and thank you dr mahipati garu uh, to uh, tell uh, the aspirants of mba i don't uh, i want to tell you my experience when i have joined the industry after my mtech uh, i worked uh, with the industry for 6 years and then uh, every day i used to feel some um, deficiency you know something is missing from my education though i am from the um, india is good i have been lucky to be from the good institutes of uh, our country but still i uh, went on feeling there is something missing then suddenly i realized that uh, the need was there from heterogeneous groups i have being in a production of the defense industry i needed to interact with various teams be it uh, uh, procurement be it uh, uh, production and uh, even in production it's not just one uh, specialization like mechanical engineering or electronics so my survival depended on my interaction with uh, uh, various specializations and then i did not know what to do for this then i tried uh, analyzing myself where the gaps are there then suddenly i realized that the management education is missing from my um, academic uh, background then immediately i approached uh, smania and then i have joined for part time mba course uh, this really has changed this i have joined after 6 years Uh, in those days uh, the there was a requirement of industry background and uh, the companies where you are working should be of certain uh, turnover and all so it was really a specialized education uh, compared to the i mean even as in like in west even now also in uh, west and other countries you see the management education is not supported by scholarships and other things that means they consider it as a premium education and then you have to support yourself because after it, completing the education you will be getting into a challenging careers with the high pay so the same thing the which helped me after doing management i i could uh, fill all the gaps then onwards my interaction with uh, various teams was different and then i could understand them and they could understand me so this major transformation has occurred considered only because of mba education so with that in, uh, intention when uh, professor balaji our registrar has asked me why don't you join anurag then uh, just at the time ugc has announced uh, the introduction of process of practice i was uh, very uh, pleasingly surprised and then i thought let me uh, make uh, you know my experience and uh, enrich the students so this is the background that means when i had the need to learn then we, we are thinking that why not the students learn from the beginning so i don't uh, uh consider any education complete without uh, management education that is where the form foundation so the management has uh, the awesome management is along with the top management support they're doing lot of innovative things so which even after retirement i am feeling again i am a student so this is where this is where i want to share uh, my this thing because an mba uh, degree for you it will increase your uh, marketability and uh, uh, you are pay also then this occurs because your quality and quantity of education increases your job opportunities so whatever let us say you have 30% of the opportunities with uh, other specialization i don't mean to compare with other specializations but my only strong feeling is every student should at one time or the other do a management education 
that is a fulfilling thing because i strongly believe a person a woman or man or a student is a failure as a single person he has to always work in teams a team will give you success and for success of that the mba is must so it can be your choice of mba but the you want to be successful manager a manager always looks for success so a successful manager needs to have a good training in subjects because when the when you get into the industry right from day one you may be interacting with various experts so that means your ability to comprehend the situations and uh, respond should be good so like we have learned all those things over a period of uh, years of experience now you can uh, do it right from day one so at least if you are able to gather the knowledge to interact with the uh, ceo on the very first day your uh, acceptability goes up by 50% so instead of worrying and learning uh, in private so it is better you get into the management education whichever i mean university you are but then it is my responsibility here to see that the students who are with anurag will go with very open mind and then in a learning mode and continuously putting efforts towards excellence this is what is our core value at awesome uh, and as uh, directed and uh, uh, supported by the top management of anurag university so here what i am thinking is the business environment is changing continuously then the socio economic patterns of consumption are also changing so in this situation the management education also cannot be stationary even across the globe things are changing now i promise you one thing that even indian management institutes are no less the students do go for uh, future studies but what now we are doing at anurag university school of automation is, uh, uh, school of management is that we are compiling day in and day out the requirements of the students and it is our primary responsibility to make the students market ready at a excellent take off point this is our uh commitment to our students so we would like to contribute to the country and uh, by way of training the quality students this is where we we have we are continuously mapping the various industries with academics so then incubation cells are also there so with this background and students come from various backgrounds like you know they are from telugu medium they are from uh, different backgrounds and we accept all the backgrounds like engineering students as well as you know uh, management uh, the bi- uh, biological sciences students commerce students so why because when you join the industry you will be in a heterogeneous environment so here you will see in the class itself the heterogeneity and then the learning of one student will be helpful to the learning of other student so this uh, i have been teaching here for quite some time and i really enjoyed the way students ask questions the way they are inquisitive we we create that inquisitiveness so that they are encouraged to interact with other teams so definitely whoever whatever is your background you should have a management education so from that i will just uh, get uh, i will just say even the placements from our management uh, department uh, they are into tech companies engineering companies and banks pharma companies then Uh, mns is like amazon deloitte then in it infra then insurance company investment companies and healthcare so you see the um, the profile of the employment is also in various industries so while the uh, separate branch students are pursuing their careers i am sure everybody will have to return back to management education at one point or the other so my request and submission to all the parents and the students is that start your child's management education at earliest so that you will see a take off see it's like on ground you can do anything but when you want to put uh, your kid like you know chandra in 3 you need a management so engineering everything will be available here but the management education will set your kid apart the student will be apart but one thing is the students are made to work hard there is no easy go and they will learn various failures over in the institute and they will go budding managers into the field ready to take on the giants 
So this is where we, we want to assure the students and the parents that the education will be good. So the industries which I feel the jobs will be there are, you know, uh, this, this is because of an uh, in-depth study. The finance is one area where in-depth study is being done. And uh, not only the curriculum at the university in our awesome is uh, one base module and then uh, industry specific, depending on which industry is going to um, flourish. So, so that the job opportunities are mainly taken into account. That is one is finance. We have the excellent faculty headed by uh, Professor Murti Garu to get the insights and they keep analyzing the uh, various uh, research papers and bring all those things into student so that the student uh, pedestal, the point where he takes up is much higher than other universities. So this is one uh, specialization we have and it has got job opportunities in banks, insurance companies, and uh, uh, even you know any industry which requires, uh, which has got a product as a service. Basically, our focus is on service. The service industries also, definitely every industry needs a finance person. So we have the finance specialization uh, with, the, with this, any industry and service industry plus banks and this is a wide open field, uh, which offers jobs at a uh, quite a good start. The pay, payments, if you are um, acquired good skills, you know, analytical skills, then your payoff is more. It's not just a uh, starting point. So you can have, you have the bargain power with the organizations which you are taking, uh, which you are analyzing. So first one is the finance. Then we have the marketing uh, specialization. The marketing is including the sales. The marketing always means that we have a lot of products. The whole world wants you for the marketing. So the marketing of products is there, marketing of services is there, and then analytics, how do you defend your uh, uh, demand, the uh, pro uh, what you call um, the projections, then uh, demand forecasting, all these things are required and marketing professors are uh, very well supported by industry experts like Professor Pati, uh, who is uh, you know, from telecom and Professor Venu. So these gentlemen, along with the uh, multiple uh, research uh, groups in the team, they will train you to go for marketing in an analytic way where you can have a scientific approach to marketing and no company can afford to lose you. This is the next one. Then we have the operations management. This means that every student is trained here to design the various operations, including logistics. And normally the operations are the backbone of any organizations. So in the multinationals, uh, the uh, logistics or supply chain management, materials management, they all come under operations uh, in addition to the regular productions. So while some of the branches may be connected with the production of certain things, these operations managers will get a handhold in this environment and they are taught the statistical tools and also the presentations which are needed, the amount of uh, in-depth uh, analysis which is required. Uh, this will be um, taught in the operations management and these operations management uh, things soon will be uh, offering few of these courses from school of management to even working professionals. That means when you are working, uh, when you are learning the skills which a working professional also wants, you just see the effect of you, uh, the stu your student, your ward is approaching a job with these skill sets which they already have in the company. That means they have the greatest advantage of taking the student from Anurag University. So this is where we are uh, putting a lot of efforts and the semester system is converted to trimester system so that the time management of students is always ensured and they cannot afford to lose a single day because it's a continuous evaluation like in IAMs and IITs. So all these best practices are there. Then comes the next one is the HR management. No company can do without the human resource planning. The leadership stems from the human resource, but though other leaderships, uh, uh, other specializations do train you for a leadership role, but HR is different because it considers staffing, training, and then uh, assessment doing. So 
essentially the hr uh, uh, the core is also key part in various specializations which our university is offering and it is headed by professor rao who has got a uh, immense experience in uh, satyam and various uh, multinationals and he is really great to learn uh, he teaches practical approach to human inter interactions so the very basic of human engineering he start in hr while all these specializations are uh, as a base in the first year the second year makes you different but we from awesome promise that every student is going out will be a, like a, you know a very confident person to face the industry and deliver it will be shown in the confidence of the student who is going and also now with this type of background there are job opportunities as a finance manager marketing manager then you have a investment banker in healthcare sector in business operations in logistics company warehouse companies logistics and because the management students of our school will be very flexible they they will see the opportunity and seize the opportunity this is where various initiatives of micro entrepreneurs and micro enterprises and all are taught as part of the curriculum and the curriculum and the industry uh, interaction are coexisting so we are putting since we are also from the industry we are trying to uh, we have already placed so many plans with industry interaction so people will see learn and implement before they get into the industry so when a practical situation is encountered in the industry they will be able to uh, immediately interact uh, and uh, show their capabilities so this business manager then purchase management the materials management is one great area where industries range from 45% to 75% of the cost is on materials management and logistics management these two will consider most of the uh, changes i mean uh, the may, very many changes are occurring here because of automation and all those things and all these aspects are well taught to students and these are the areas where good amount of opportunities exist in addition to tech and it industries so there is no dearth of opportunities for the managers budding managers they only have to see out of so many multiple choices which one to choose so here we sit with the student check his uh, uh, interest and then train him in that so each student is made to pursue his career of his choice for which the anurag school of management stands solidly then this also comes you know uh, students can work in government funded projects and also in uh, uh, uh what you call this uh, government uh, funded organizations are uh, social uh, entrepreneurs then uh, ngos so they in fact we are already making our uh, plan to go through a internship mechanism which will train them and give them more confidence 70% confidence is increased to 90% of the confidence and the chance of their performing below level is very less so they are taught the language they are taught mannerisms they are taught the basics of organization behavior everything into this two year intense management course so please be assured that your child has to put in attendance fully and then work hard and once he starts enjoying the study he himself will not come home for holidays this is what we have seen and then product management and project management is very very critical area we have very less people that's why uh, the certifications like pmp and other things are there to uh, train the people in project management which we are taking up at the very beginning the project management is learned by various experienced people at a later stage but our students will acquire the basic skills of project management risk management in the beginning only this will mean that they can handle any industry with ease and they will make their mark so the jobs of risk management and project management also are open be it in it sector be it in industry sector or be in logistics company so they will be making the manuals and each one will be uh, traveling towards the position of ceo cfo or cvo so these are the positions which we uh, feel will be really good and uh, this is a general i i uh, general view of the bird's eye view of the industry where i have our students have joined and now will be joining so with a continuous 
changing environment, uh, a learning environment which we are creating, your student will be aptly ready for the industry. This is what I want to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, so I have a few questions here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, from uh, Thanks a lot for giving the overview of opportunities existing uh, for management in yeah. HR, marketing, operations, yes, etc. Yeah. So as a student, let's say I'm coming from BSc background or from BCom background. Yeah. Uh, will it be okay for me to join MBA because I may not have a relevant uh, background to enter into management? I should be... Is, is there any preferred background that I should be having to join? Yes, ma'am. I'll answer. The relevant background you require is your attitude. Nothing else. And your attitude to learn. Your attitude to say never die. Never say die. These are sufficient. And whichever background. See, you have given me something about BSc. What mathematics are needed is only 10th standard mathematics. Okay. What else is required? We have bridge courses. You come with an attitude to learn and win the world. It is correct. What is the other specialization? Any specialization, sir. Yeah. My, my question is like, yeah. do we need to have any specific? No. Uh, you don't need anything. If your graduation, whatever basic requirement is there, uh, qualification requirement, that is sufficient. I have analyzed myself. In my class, there are students with biology background. There are students with uh, uh, commerce background. There are students who are worried about mathematics. Within three classes, we have brought all of them onto one platform. They start doing variance analysis now. Variance analysis, all of you know. So if like, but what happens is after that, if your child is interested in going from the um, biological science background, they want to go into clinical research. Yes, you can do that. So it's not that only one track is there for managers. Lot of infinity of verticals are there. Verticals means a specific industry where you can grow is vertical. So in that, you have various verticals for all the specializations, depending on your flair. If you have the flair, the MBA is there and there's no specific requirement that I need this. If any gap is there, we are there. And gap is right. Gap is only to say that I don't. Some main fear, fear I find from the students is I don't know the mathematics. No, you don't need to know. Mathematics is not something which is cut out from our flesh. Mathematics is simple, and you all have learned that seventh to tenth class mathematics. Without that, you will not come here. Even statistics, you are done. You know the words. So what we teach is the meaning of each word, the meaning of this thing, how to fight it. So absolutely no requirement any any gap if you feel because of your background you approach us no issue even before taking the course you approach us we'll be able to guide you thank you at this point i would like to also add uh, uh, about our orientation program we yeah. give to the students because they know for management we have from diverse backgrounds it, as i said from biology or bzc or bsc any graduation you can have so we conduct a, uh, around two weeks of orientation program where the students of all the specializations come together and uh, we have like basics of mathematics, basics of finance or basics of uh, teamwork and all these things will be practically applied. So that your fear or your uh, hesitance to try a new subject will be lost and you all will be starting at the same platform. It will be exciting and, uh, opportunity to learn into new areas. How do you use your language? You will be shaped out. No, no issue at all. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, is there any difference between trimester and semester when I'm doing USA's semester? Yeah. Uh, earlier it was semester. Now you became trimester. Yeah. Do you think it makes a difference in my career opportunities? Yes. What I um, understood from the School of uh, Anurag School of Management and uh, our initiative is a very unique initiative in the university. The trimester will give you more time value. Time value in the sense you are learning same subjects at a short intervals and then you are in a continuous evaluation. So what are, you don't need to wait for end semester to evaluate yourself. So the same time, same subjects are split into three so that your focus or your attention period is effectively utilized. So trimester system will really help you to let us say after two tri trimesters, your confidence will be more. So in third trimester, you may learn what other universities are learning in the second semester, uh, third semester. So you are accelerating. Then we will have a time to give you more uh, uh, industry-oriented 
exposure. So the, this coupled with internal assessment is going to be a real advantage for the students who who are uh, whose learning skills are honed. Basically, what we are looking is the attitudes and the learning skills. If they are perfect, if they are in the right direction, your entry into the field is good. So MBA semester system and you know in this particular thing there is a lot of load on the faculty they will have to change a lot and because of this thing uh, even professors are also putting more uh, efforts then in one trimester you just see that someday as a manager you want to earn in one year uh, you know uh, uh, some 25 lakhs you want to save you are able to do it in six months so that type of outlook you get it so you yeah, don't wait for the learning i i would like to like that so thanks yes, a lot uh, so from our point of view as you said as uh, someone has posted this question the reason why we moved from semester to trimester is i said like you know for, there are few subjects which are compulsory mandatory for management courses like said you know statistics communication marketing finance hr operations and so when in the semester system, by the time we cover all these things, MBA is almost done, except for three, four subjects for specializations. So we thought, how do we offer more variety and more depth of subjects to the students so that they'll become more industry ready? So that is when we came up with the trimester concept, when we surveyed the whole uh, institutions throughout the country and which is most suitable for us, we thought trimester, because now here, all the basic subjects are already there. 